close to finishing up, everybody, but I wanted to just uh, focus Jimmy and, of course, Jonathan uh, chiming in on the Americans to watch in the Champions League. Brendan Aronson, uh, Salzburg face Sevilla. Weston McKenney, we'll see if he gets to start against Malmo as well. Uh, Jordan Payford, young boys against Manchester United. Owen Otozoe, Bruges against PSG. Pulisic, will he be fit enough? Chelsea against Zenit. Uh, Sack Stefan, Tyler Adams in the Man City, Leipzig. Brooks and Wea, Leo against Wolfsburg, as of course JJ was talking about. Serginho Dest and Chris Richards, Barca against Bayern. And Gio Reyna as Dortmund face Besiktas. Any highlights there from both of you? Let's begin with you, Jimmy, from those Americans featuring this week. Yeah, I think that it seems maybe Gio Reyna, maybe not, actually. Maybe Weston McKinney is probably our best chance to get some valuable minutes. I mean, ultimately, it's great to say on paper we have 12 players, 12 Americans playing in the Champions League, but they have to get minutes for it to actually provide value, in my humble opinion, for the U.S. men's national team. I mean, that's the whole romanticism about uh, leaving MLS where I live about, <laughs> to go over to Europe. Like, that's great, but if you're not actually playing in these games, then it's just, it's all theory and not, you know, being used in practice. So yeah, we need these guys to play and, and we saw a lot of them play last season and they were valuable contributors to their team, but that has to continue. And uh, right now I think there's a lot of question marks around a lot of these players, mainly due to injury or, or uh, some behavioral issues as it pertains to Weston McKinney. He didn't look all that great against Napoli this past weekend for Juve. So hopefully he'll get another run out and can continue to build off of where he is at the moment and continue to just focus on being good on the field. JJ. Yeah, so for me, I'm I'm definitely keeping my eye on that clash, uh, potential clash between between Brooks and Weyer. Obviously, not being a, the, the the brightest of starts to the season for for Weyer, but you know Brooks and Wolfsburg going uh, going good guns at the moment. Uh, and yeah, I totally agree with Jimmy. You know, I think that it's important for these guys to be you know playing places where they can actually be getting minutes. And obviously, never helps when you've got stuff like the the McKenney uh, speculation going on. Him being sent home by the U.S. men's national team. We've seen it happen as well. With Juve, so you know, obviously that wasn't particularly positive reading, but you know, fingers crossed that some of these guys can get minutes. I think as well, you know, also um, in Group A, looking at the potential battle between you know maybe a Zach Stefan and uh, uh, and Adams as well of Leipzig. Don't particularly expect Stefan to be playing. I think it's it could have worked out quite nicely for him the uh, the whole Brazil against the Premier League. Uh, you know, thing for the international break. Uh, obviously, Edison came back in time, uh, but you now have, uh, you know, a very, very important match for Leipzig, and it could be that Jesse Marsh really needs somebody, uh, you know, like his compatriot Adams to, to to step up and really help him get a result, which I don't know. I'm not sure I share Luis Miguel's uh, optimism for him going into that game. I'm just trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice uh, to the country that hosts me. Hey, listen, a very quick question. Uh, you answer to me. Who, who make a, out of those players, who's going to make the biggest impact uh, in this campaign, not just this week, I guess, Jimmy? I actually think it's going to be Brendan Aronson. I think he actually has the most to gain because RB Salzburg does have somewhat of a manageable group. And if they just put a couple good games together, they could get second and move on to the knockout rounds. For me, Brendan Aronson also shown his potential over the qualifying window that we can rely on him, that he can show up either as a starter or as a super sub. And if he continues to do what he's doing and progress the way that he is, if Pulisic and Gio Reyna start to lose minutes, we could start leaning on Brendan Aronson to be our guy. And so I think it's a big opportunity for him to continue to showcase why he's as special as he is and, and why he probably won't be at RB Salzburg for too much longer. So him, John Anthony Brooks on the other side, like didn't play particularly well in the window. It's a good good time to kind of right the ship in some ways and get back to being super consistent and getting back into Ireland up here with the U.S. But I think Brendan Aronson has the most to gain. Who do you think, yeah, JJ? De de definitely agree. I've been very impressed with him so far. Uh, you know, and you, fingers crossed he can sort of walk a similar path <clears throat> to Zoboslai, uh, who enjoyed great success in Salzburg and now finds himself in Leipzig. It wouldn't surprise me, you know, if Aronson is sort of the next player, uh, you know, to, to cross that, uh, that, that supply of talent line.